What is up YouTube, Raymond here, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 8 in VirtualBox. Windows 8 is pretty much the first version of Windows to use the newer flag and also use Secure Boot, so let's get this started. So the first thing is VirtualBox, and the second thing you need is the ISO, so let's get this started. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to click on New, and type in Windows 8, and then click on Next. And then because I have enough RAM, I'm just going to make sure I set it to 4 gigabytes, but you can leave it at 2 gigabytes, and then click on next, create, next, next, create. And I'm also going to have to set it to 64 gigabytes uh, for fun. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to click on settings, and then if you want, you can go to system, and then you can enable EF5, but we're not going to do that. And then click on storage, you're going to look for the empty disk, and now you're going to look for the Windows 8 ISO. Now mine's going to be inside of an external hard drive, so it's going to be in Windows, Windows 8X, not Windows 11, but Windows 8, and even though it's 32-bit, uh, it should work under 64-bit, but I only have the 32-bit ISO, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on Start. And then it's going to boot into Windows 8 which might take some time but it should boot up and then you should get to the first phase of setup and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on next and then hit install now and then what you do is just check I accepted license terms and then hit next And then click on custom because we obviously don't have an operating system. Then click on next. Make sure it's also an unaffiliated space. And then it's going to copy files. And then after that, it should tell you to restart. Just click on restart now or let the time expire. And then now it should restart. Do not hit any key to boot from the CD, otherwise, you'll go to a constant loop. And then this should bring you the second phase of setup where it's going to set up devices, check for hardware, and then after that it should give you the next restart point and this may take some time and then after that we should get the next restart point and then once again do not hit any key to boot from the CD otherwise you'll go to a constant loop and then now you should be in the final phase of setup which might take some time and then you can personalize and you can choose any color you like and I also set the PC name as Windows 8 or computer name rather then hit next you can click on customize uh, we should give you some options if you click on customize you can just turn off some of the settings but for fun just use express settings and then click on sign in without a Microsoft account and then click on local account and then you can type in your name and then you can also type in your password we're not going to put one in there and then click on finish and now it's going to finalize your settings and then it should bring you to the desktop but during that time uh, you also can see like a tutorial on moving your mouse then if it says let's start which I almost missed it it should bring you the full start screen which was introduced in this version and there you go you have to successfully install Windows 8 and that's because there's no start button on there and then type in WinVer after hitting WinR you should see that you installed Windows 8 so thank you guys for watching please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also follow me on Twitter at RubenOfDeca17 or you can also follow me on Instagram at RubenOfTransitFan so that's how I install Windows 8 in VirtualBox so I'll see you next time